is National Suicide Prevention Month, and a local group has been established to support people who've experienced the loss of a loved one. <laughs> the group is Man. Infinite Hope. The executive director is Cindy Weaver, and she is here with us this morning. Good to see you, Cindy. Thank you. Good to see you, too. So Infinite Hope has some things on the calendar for this month. Yes, we do. Um, actually, the, the very first thing we started off with was our billboard went up on Highway 41 South and Barker Road underneath Little Caesars Pizza. And it's got our website on it. Uh, I think it's got a few, a little bit of other information. Middle of the month, Western Kentucky University Radio is going to come to Henderson for the day and several survivors have agreed for them to interview them um, on air. Robin Miller uh, is in charge of that and she actually interviewed me back in April, I guess, after I was on Speak Up. And then there will be an article written as well in the Western, uh, I guess their newsletter that goes out to students and other things. Um, on the 25th, we are having a remembrance event downtown Central Park at 6 p.m. There will be a band. Um, those who have lost a loved one who want their loved one remembered can send a picture to us at care at infinitehopekentucky.com of their loved one and the dates of, of their life here. And those signs will be displayed. Uh, at the end of that, we will have like a candlelight um, vigil and there will be speakers and things like that at that event. So those are just a few things that we have going on this month. There are others and they just kind of keep popping up. So, uh, Cindy, talk a bit about how important these rituals, the, the ones you're presenting, are for people making their way through grief. It helps now, you know, oftentimes, especially with suicide, suicide still has such a stigma attached to it. Um, people don't talk about it. So when they are able to do things like the remembrance event, it kind of takes it out into the open and kind of removes a little bit of that stigma. And when survivors are able to talk about their loss openly, it helps move them toward in a direction of, of healing and hope again. For uh, folks who are interested in any and all the events you do this month and beyond, can you direct them to your website and your Facebook page? The website is Infinite Hope Kentucky, and Kentucky is spelled out, dot com. The Facebook page is Infinite Hope KY. And so then the Instagram is Infinite underscore Hope underscore underscore Kentucky spelled out. Thank you so much, Cindy. We appreciate what you're doing.